Hello, my lovely water signs. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the B Weekly Spiritual Reading for the water signs, the sun signs of Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. I have said that the reading is for sun signs, but from what I am hearing, uh, this could also apply to rising signs as well as moon signs. So if you feel so inclined, you can listen to your rising and your moon sign as well. Thank you all for your support and your patience as I worked through my own uh, health and vibrance uh, as I went on hiatus and I will be reinstating my personal readings for purchase they are $75 for 30 minutes and I will be reinstating those on the 27th of January of course after the mercury retrograde and um, you will see the schedule on my website if you would desire a reading with me please also understand and respect that I would like for the purchase of the reading to happen prior to any type of email um, request for appointments uh, because of this when an email appointment arrives prior to purchasing it can cause a lot of uh, time on my part as well as your part to ensure that a uh, purchase has been made so please purchase the reading first and then send the email and I will set you up with a scheduled date all right so let's go ahead and let's get started with the B weekly spiritual reading for my lovely Pisces my intuitive loving compassionate and kind Pisces for the time frame between the 10th of January until the 25th of January of 2016. I will be posting my February monthly videos between the 23rd and about the 25th or the 26th of January. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started, Pisces. What have we got going on? All right. What is the spiritual advice for the Pisceans? Spiritual advice for the fishies. Here's your spiritual advice. What is your potential challenge for the next two weeks? For Pisceans, spiritual challenge for Pisceans, spiritual challenge. Here is your challenge. All right. These are issues that you may want to steer clear of, or they are specific messages that you will need to be aware of and acknowledge so that you can enhance any positive energies in your life and negate any negative energies. So what do we have for the uh, angel messages from the angel messages guidance by Doreen Virtue? Sorry, these are falling out everywhere. So let's just keep going here. Okay, angel messages for Pisceans, angel messages, angel message for Pisces. What do we have for the Archangel Guidance for Pisces? Archangel Guidance. Archangel Guidance. This is also from Doreen Virtue. Archangel Guidance. Here is your Archangel Guidance. What do we have going on for your daily angel guidance this is also from Doreen Virtue daily angel guidance for the next couple weeks Pisceans here's your angel guidance okay Pisces let's go ahead and let's get started with your Archangel guidance courage Wow, Pisces, this is amazing. Courage says this, from Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. You know, it doesn't matter where I put this, that, that light, that sun just keeps shining through. If it's not on that side, it's on that side, so, um, Anyway, so here we go. What is the um, 
message for you with courage. Pisces. You have requirements within your person. You have an understanding of what your true value is in the world. You have over time discovered through pain, dysfunction, loss, failure, and anger is what I'm hearing. Through all of this, you have discovered what you are worth. Now, right now, is your opportunity to say, I will not settle for inconsistencies. I will not settle for less than. I will not settle for the bits and the scraps that have been left on the floor for me to survive off of as sustenance. I am a courageous human being and I will meet my goals and my desires. I can do it. I can make things happen. I can keep negative and nefarious energies at bay because I will stand up for my rights. I will stand up for myself, my values, and my standards. Whether this is in work, whether this is in your love life or your family life, you are done taking a back seat to others. It is time for you to take your rightful place as a leader, be courageous, and be the person you were meant to be. Embark on your spiritual path. It may not look like others' spiritual path. It may not look like it is status quo. It may not look conventional. It may be completely far out in left field. But I will tell you this, Pisces. If you believe it, it will happen. Have courage. Have faith. You can make your mark. You can call in your soulmate and your twin flame that is going to respect you and give you attention and kindness and respect, devotion and love. You can make your family unit strong. You can call in friends that support you and do not talk about you behind your back. You can do whatever you set your mind to. This is a very strong card and message from universe that is being delivered up front and center for you to realize that you have the courage to do whatever it is that you desire to do. That is beautiful. What do we have for your angel message, Pisces? Opal. And Opal says this, Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. This is gorgeous. Pisces, for those of you out there that are worried about a child that may be sick, please understand that universe and the angels are watching over your children with loving compassion, kindness, and caring. For those Pisceans out there that may be embarking on a separation or a divorce from their current significant other, soon to be ex, and you have children together, please be aware that everything is as it should be and that your children can handle any change coming forth and that they will be looked over 
by the angels. For those Pisceans out there that have lost a child, whether through voluntary or involuntary, that child is not only being cared for by the heavenly angels, that child is also looking down upon you, giving you messages, helping you move along to find the love that you so desperately desire. What is your daily angel guidance, Pisces? Trustworthy guidance, interesting. This also came up for, I believe, Virgos as well. And trustworthy guidance says this. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. Pisces, there are some of you out there that received an idea that was sent from God, Creator, and your angels. It could be an idea for a book. It could be an invention. It could be an idea to help with efficiencies at work. It could be an idea of how to handle a family um, argument. It could be an idea of how to move forward on your own spiritual path while letting others go that their particular involvement in your life has now passed. And with that said, you have learned some of the hardest lessons of all of the signs of the zodiac and you are ready to move forward with your idea. You are ready to move forward with getting your masters, getting your PhD. You are ready to move forward with your invention, with your book, with your songwriting, with your poetry, with your musical talents. You have been given a sign. You have been given an idea to move forward on. Have courage. Have courage. Make those calls. Get those connections. Move, Pisces. Go. Make it happen. For some of you, this invention, this book, this song, whatever it is that you are creating, it will help children in some way, shape, or form. It will help children. Through your trials and tribulations, you can create something that will allow you to take from those hard knocks that you have learned and to put them positively into a creation that will help the universe, that will help others, that will bring Mother Gaia up to her elevation. The planet Earth is Mother Gaia. She will increase her elevation. She will ascend. She is meant to ascend. You are a vital piece of this transformation. Embrace it, Pisces. Be courageous. What do we have going on for your spiritual advice, Pisces? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Leadership. Pisces. In the January monthly readings, leadership came up several times. Pisces, some of you are born leaders. Say to universe, I am ready to lead. I am ready to move past my own barriers to success. I am ready to be a leader of myself as well as others. I am ready 
to make this change. I fully take on all responsibility to be a leader in my life and in the lives of others. Your advice is to have the courage to be the leader, to make the difference, to make the move, to make the calls, to make the connections so that you can help society. And in doing that, you create your own avenues of success. You create prosperity. You create a life that you have been dreaming about. This is beautiful advice, Pisces. Do not put this to the side. It is time. Okay? Be aware that you are single-handedly, you are being singled out by universe to be a leader you are ready even though on the inside you think oh do I should I is that such a great idea I don't know you know maybe I should wait for better timing no Pisces the time is now be the leader in your life be the leader in your family be the leader in your business take your rightful place as a leader even if that means letting people in your life go, you must be the leader. You must be an example for others. Lift your vibration. It is time. This is the message from your angels and from Universe Pisces. Embrace it. What is your potential challenge, Pisces? Prayer. Pisces, uh, for some of you, you've been praying hard. You've been asking universe, please answer my prayers, please. I am in a situation I do not want to be in. I, I, don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. When will this end? When can I embark on my new path? When can I embark on the life that I so desperately desire? And you have been praying and you've been praying and you have looked at universe and you've looked at God, you've looked at Allah, you've looked at Buddha, whoever it is, and you have damned them. You have said, you have not listened to my prayers. You have not heard me. Why? Why must I go through this over and over and over again? And I will tell you why. Because the situations around you that you wanted to change to your advantage have passed their sell-by date. The situations around you that you have wanted to create, to bring love, compassion, and kindness within that situation has no desire to do the same for you. So you prayed about the situation. You prayed about others. Please make that person love me. Please make that person understand me. Please make this happen. This whole time, Pisces, the person you should have been praying for not was prayer for others. You should have been praying for yourself. You should have been praying for, I desire to walk my spiritual path. I am ready to take every opportunity that crosses my path as a blessing. I am ready to let go of those energies that no longer serve me. I pray, universe, that you will guide me in the right way to remove the obstacles out of my life so that I can be the best Pisces that I can be. Prayer did not defeat you. God did not discard you. Angels did not discard you. Universe did not say, I don't have time for you, Pisces. This entire time, the universe has been working behind the scenes to create 
particular avenues to open the door for you to step in and that light, that sun, that success to shine upon you for you to embrace. You have been denying the open door. You have been denying the messages from the universe. You have been telling universe, you don't love me anymore. Well, you could not be more wrong, Pisces. The universe loves you unconditionally. Your nature is to be of service to others. And when you get selfish, you get karma. For those of you that have decided that praying is a waste of your time, I will beg to differ. Continue to pray. Change your perspective. Change your perception. Universe is behind you and universe has heard you loud and clear. Universe wants to move you into a leadership role. Universe wants you to embrace the ideas and the messages you get from others so that you can make an appropriate turn on your path to lead you to your sole purpose. Universe has been protecting your children. Universe has said, if you Pisces are not well, your children are not well, look out for you. We will watch over your children. We will allow your children that are now in heaven to guide you on your spiritual path. Have the courage, Pisces. Have the courage to be the leader. Have the courage to get rid of negative energies out of your life. Have the courage to release yourself from the chains that bind you so that you can be the best person that you can be and you will blow your own socks off. This is the message from universe. And so it is. So there you go, Pisces. I hope that you liked this reading for the next couple weeks uh, from January 10th to the 25th of 2016. I thank you so much for all of your support, all of your likes, all of your shares, and all of your subscribes. I wish you the best January ever and please Pisces celebrate you put the boundaries up but above all else do not forget why you are here on this earth is to heal is to embrace the vision is to manifest that vision into reality and is to service mankind and when you do that you will be successful beyond all measure much light much love and many blessings to you Pisces namaste Hello, my beautiful Cancerians, my Crabalicious Cancers. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me and watch these videos. Uh, this is the spiritual guidance for January 10th through January 25th from the angels and from the crystal guidance. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at what your crystal advice is, your spiritual advice is from the crystals. Cancers, what is your advice? What is your advice, Cancers? What is your advice? What is your advice, Cancers? Advice for the Crabalicious Cancers. Advice. 
Here is your advice, Cancers. What is your potential challenge? Whoa. There's your potential challenge. What is your angel message, Cancers? Angel message. Here is your angel message. What is your Archangel Guidance, Cancers? Archangel Guidance. Archangel Guidance. What is your daily guidance from the angels? These are all from Doreen Virtue. Whoa. It's your daily guidance from the angels. Okay, Cancers, what have we got going on? We will start with the Archangel Guidance. Chakra Clearing. Archangel Metatron says this, Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Cancers, it is time for you to take a step back from the fray and meditate. Clear your chakras. Clear your space. Reorganize your life. Delegate. This is very important. Delegate within your family. Delegate within your work. Delegate within your life in some way, shape, or form. No matter who you are, you must get rid of any blocks within your chakras so that you clear those chakras so you can be a well-oiled machine. I just heard that some of you are embarking on a massive endeavor. In order to be successful in that endeavor, you must find the balance and clear your chakras. You can do this. You could go online and you can do chakra clearing. There are meditation videos out there that some of them are seven minutes, some of them are an hour. But take the time, lay down, focus on your breath, clear your chakras because you are about to get very busy in some way shape or form you must have the wherewithal to make appropriate decisions for yourself and the good of others okay so be aware that this is how the chakra clearing is coming through for you for the next couple weeks okay what is your daily guidance for the next couple weeks, Cancers? This is not surprising. Family. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person yourself and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. For some of you, there is a specific family argument, a specific family issue, that is causing you internal strife and that is causing blocks within your chakra which inhibits you from being successful at your job being successful in your life being successful at work in your retired life in your family when you clear these chakras what you will find is that you will find avenues that open up for you to be able to heal a family rift that may have occurred in the last past couple days. We did have a lot of squares and oppositions and we still will. We've got planets also going retrograde um, 
in January. Take a step back, Cancer. Clear yourself, clear your mind, and approach things in a very diplomatic and loving manner. You will achieve the success that you desire. What is your angel message? Rosetta. And Rosetta says this. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting of children. There are many Cancerians out there that are in charge of several people at work. These people are younger than you. You are considered a mentor to them. Lead by example. For some Cancerians out there, you heal and teach children. You could be a teacher. You could be a physician. You could be someone that volunteers for charitable organizations that help children. By clearing your chakras and getting rid of negative energy, you allow yourself to be working on all cylinders so that anything that you touch is successful. Please understand that people are watching you and they look upon you as someone that they desire to be, especially your children. The biggest and most important thing when you are a mentor to your children or younger people is that you lead by example. And what this means is that you value yourself. You value love and family. But you do not sacrifice your own personal self at the same time. There is a time to hold on and there is a time to let go. So whatever it is that you are embarking on right now, please ensure that people, children, people younger than you, the people that you situate yourself with know why it is you are doing what you are doing and it is for the good of yourself and the good of others. There is no sense in sacrificing yourself and hurting yourself because if you do, those around you will then sacrifice themselves and their own spiritual path and soul purpose is compromised because they do not understand and they looked upon you as a mentor to understand how to set boundaries in your life and what is or what is not acceptable to you. So be aware of that. So what is your spiritual advice, Cap uh, Capricorn? Sorry, I almost said Capricorn, so some of you Cancerians might be dealing with some Capricorns right now, so please just be aware of that. So <laughs> that's how it usually comes in. So uh, Cancers, uh, what is your spiritual advice? Purification. It is amazing how these cards reveal themselves in the story. Cancers, purification. You need to purify yourself from any negative energies and any situations that are no longer bearing fruit. You, through purification, through chakra clearing, can bring peace to the family. You can bring peace to people younger than you, to people who depend on you, your children. For some of you Cancerians out there, you may be going through a stage of divorce. 
and you are looking at yourself as I am feeling like a failure to my children. I am feeling like a failure of this marriage. Why did it not work? What is going on? Everybody, whether we are married, whether we are single and dating, whether we are in a work marriage or a work relationship, we have a contract with everyone. The contract does not last forever. The contract must be fulfilled. And on the day that that contract ends, your new contract begins. So you must purify yourself from any energies that are bringing you down. And sometimes that means letting go of people that are bringing you down. That is for those of you that may be going through a separation or a divorce at the present time. For those of you that are in happy and loving bonds, for those of you in happy and loving bonds at work, purify yourself. Purify your environment. Because what you will see happen is you will see the right people entering your life that you can depend on that can be a support system to you like a family and you will feel strong you will feel courageous you will feel unstoppable it is so very important to balance your life balance your chakras clear your chakras and purify your surroundings internally and externally so that you can make appropriate decisions moving forward. Get rid of people that gossip is what they just said to me. Get rid of them. Don't give them the time of day. If they're going to gossip, walk away. Doesn't mean you have to sign them off. It just means you need to be careful. What is your potential challenge? Evolution. Evolution as a challenge basically means, uh, Cancerians, is that you are in a stage of evolution. You are in a stage of a new beginning. You are evolving. You are ascending. People that are not ascending with you cannot energetically walk on the path of ascension with you. Your evolution is calling you. It is time for you to say enough is enough. It is time for you to say, I must evolve my company. I must evolve my family. I must evolve myself. And sometimes that requires me to make some pretty tough decisions in order for me to move forward on my spiritual path so I can serve myself as well as others in my life. This is your spiritual message for the next couple weeks, Cancers. Well, I hope that this reading helped you. I hope you enjoy these readings. Um, thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your wonderful comments. I will be commenting back. I am feeling better, so I will be doing that. And uh, I will have the February monthly reading up between the 23rd and the 25th, 26th of January for the February 2016 reading. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings, Cancers. Take care of yourselves. Namaste.
Hi Scorpios, how are my passionate Scorpios doing? This is your reading for the next couple weeks. I'm just doing this to clear some energies from the prior reading. And um, let's see what's going on for your spiritual advice for the next couple weeks, uh, Scorpios. What's going on, Scorpios? What's going on? Spiritual advice, spiritual advice. Is this the one? Here's your spiritual advice. What is your potential challenge you may be facing? Challenge, Scorpios. Challenge. Challenge. I'm hearing something about connection. Here's your challenge. Connection, connectivity, problems with electronics, connections with um, feeling that you are bound and having a problem with a connection you have with someone. This is not a bad connection. You're looking upon it as it is negative, but it is not. So there's something about connections with Scorpios. Here is your angel message. So what have we got going on for your Archangel Guidance? Archangel Guidance. Archangel Guidance. Archangel guidance. Scorpios, there are some people that have been in your life that you have an unbreakable bond with. Okay? And don't look at that bond as something negative. Look at that bond as the blessing that it was when it was and give gratitude for that bond. Okay. Whether you are in each other's lives now or not, just be grateful. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. For whatever reason, that's coming out. Here is your um, daily angel guidance. Okay. So we're going to start off with the Archangel Guidance Scorpios. So what is your Archangel Guidance for the next couple weeks? Sensitivity. Here we go, Scorpios. Sensitivity. This is Archangel Haniel. And Archangel Haniel says you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. This is exactly what I was picking up. Honor what you feel. If you are upset, honor that. If you are happy, honor that. If you feel whatever you desire to feel right now, whatever is coming through, whatever you are absorbing from the outside, take a step back. Take a moment to observe and to digest those energies. Release those energies that do not serve you. And then allow yourself an opportunity to dialogue regarding your feelings in an appropriate and diplomatic manner. If somebody has upset you, say, you have upset me and this is why. If somebody has made you happy, say, I am so happy that you are in my life because with you in my life, I feel as though I have a best friend and I am so supported, so thank you. Okay? It could work either way, Scorpios. So be aware that you are extra sensitive right now in this next couple weeks and you will be absorbing things. And some of those things are going to be excellent. And some of those things are not going to feel good. But all you need to do is take a step back. Digest what you've encountered. And tell universe to take away from you any negative energies that you may have absorbed. And you will be able to move forward a stronger and better Scorpio. Okay. 
If I did not mention it, this is for Scorpio Sun, but if you desire to listen to your rising sign or your moon sign, you are more than welcome to do that. Please let me know if this is your rising sign or your moon sign and it resonates with you, because if so, I will set my intention a little bit more globally for those three uh, divisions of um, your particular sign and your particular birth chart. Okay, so what do we got going on for your daily guidance? Release and surrender. This is amazing. This is just amazing. This is definitely coming through. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held rigidly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. I am sensing for a lot of you Scorpios right now that you are having some difficulty with embracing love for yourself and embracing people who love you in your life. Let any preconceived notions go of what you thought someone was and allow them an opportunity to prove to you who they really are. In so doing, you open your arms to the truth. And if there is anyone out there besides a Gemini that desires to seek truth, it is a Scorpio. You are the poster child of discovering truth. You want to know where you stand. You want to know where others stand. You desire some semblance of uniformity and equivalent exchange in your life, it is okay. It is time to let negative and nefarious energies go. It may be time to remove negative and nefarious people out of your life so that you can embark on your soul path and surround yourself with positive and supportive people. This is beautiful Scorpio. And you will know. You're going to you're going to pick up on it like that. That is how sensitive you are in the next couple weeks. So what is your angel message? You have Ray. And Ray says this. Yoga and exercise are essential for your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. For those of you that are dealing with some weird, confusing, negative, non-truthful energies in whatever manner in your life, work out. Walk. Walk the dog. Get on the treadmill. Lift weights. Do whatever you need to do. Dispel those negative energies as you sweat, as you increase your metabolism envision that the, those negative energies are dripping out of you and release them so that universe can transmutate them into something positive around you because you not only are very sensitive you could flip your switch like that be very careful your stinger is on high alert Scorpios work out because you do not want to say something that you may regret at a later time. Release that which does not serve you. Release your, um, your desire to control everything. You can only control yourself. You cannot control others, Scorpio. If you desire to get to the truth, stay, truth to your, stay truthful to yourself. And the truth will be revealed to you. So what is your spiritual advice, Scorpios? You have creation. Um, for some of you Scorpios, you need to create. 
In fact, for all of you Scorpios, you need to create, if you do art, start drawing, start painting. If you build, build that doghouse, build that building, build that extra room onto the house. If you are an interior designer, do interior design work. Create, create, create. It will bring you balance. If you are a musician, create. Take your flute, take your trumpet, take your saxophone out of the case, bring it out again, and release all of those negative energies through the instrument up into the universe so it can be transmutated so that you find your balance and find your truth once again and you are able to handle anything that comes in your way. Create. It will bring you peace, solitude, and direction. What is your spiritual challenge? Your potential challenge? Wow. Release. Your angels are telling you to release and surrender. You are very sensitive right now. And you need to get rid of that excess toxicity in your body. For some of you, I am sensing that you do have some addictions. You could be, um, I will just say it, some of you are addicted to sex, some of you are addicted to codependence, some of you are addicted to a person, some of you are potentially uh, checking up on somebody online, you are doing research, you are investigating, you are uh, finding uh, data, you are following them. For some of you, you are kind of in a, in a stalking mode type of energy. Please, Scorpio, do, 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 do. do not do that. Do not do that. Please. You are creating horrible karma right now. This is not something that you want to embark on. This is not something that you want to do. This message is specifically for some of you, maybe like 5% of you, but for those of you that it does not apply to, you probably know a Scorpio in your life that is going through this right now. That Scorpio or you yourself must release. Let that person go. Let them live their life. This is your challenge. You are gripping far too tightly to a situation, a grudge. You are vengeful. You must release vengeance from your life. You cannot do that. When you hold vengeance for someone, it comes back to you tenfold and it causes complications in your own life. Please let this go, Scorpio. You are overly sensitive to the situation. And what I am hearing is that for some of you, not all of you, again, this is a general reading, but for some of you, you are just not letting go of someone else's energy and you want to make their life miserable. Because you feel that they deserve it. But since when, Scorpio, are you the judge and jury? For those of you that this does not apply to, there is something that you are going through right now that is a big challenge for you to release. That challenge could be you are embarking on a divorce or you have just been informed that your significant other would like a divorce from you. This is causing you to be very sensitive at the present time and you feel as though, what is the point in living? Whatever it is, Scorpio, just let it go. Give it to God. Give it to Allah. Give it to Buddha. Whoever it is. Embrace love in your life. Create. 
throw yourself into your creations. It will calm you and center you so that you can see the method behind the madness, the order within the chaos. And when you accept and release that which has passed its sell-by date, whether it be an idea, whether it be a person, whether it be a situation, whether it be a belief, when you release that, you become freer than you have ever been in your entire life. So that is your message, Scorpios. I wish you the best. Thank you so much for watching these videos, and I hope that they helped you out in some way. Take care of yourselves. Much light, much love, and many blessings, Scorpios. Namaste.